This asteroid will come closer to Earth than the Moon. NASA says a massive space rock will come close to Earth in October. But no need to roll out the welcome mat, it's just passing by. Asteroid 2012 TC4 is on a trajectory to fly close to Earth on Thursday, October 12th. On that day, according to Space.com, the space rock will be around 27,000 miles from Earth. That's eight times closer to the planet than the Moon. Astronomers are looking forward to investigating asteroid 2012 TC4 because it has roughly the same proportions as the one that hit a Russian town in 2013. And while that event may look spectacular from afar, it also injured close to 1,500 people and damaged some 7,200 buildings. Scary, right? Stay tuned for more on Asteroids and Space. Large Asteroid Florence to Pass by Earth on September 1st For those of you who enjoy looking up at the sky above, you may see something out of the ordinary passing overhead in just a few days. An asteroid, roughly three miles wide, will drift past our planet a few moon lengths away, and it's going to be closer to us than we're used to seeing. Asteroid Florence, named after the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale, is believed to be at least 2.7 miles in diameter. Hurtling through space 4.4 million miles away, more than 18 Earth-Moon distances, Florence is the largest asteroid to pass this close since the first near-Earth asteroid was detected over a century ago. The last time this particular asteroid was this close was back in 1890, and following September 1st, it won't be this close again until after the year 2500. As it glides by, Florence will move through the constellations Pisces Austrinus, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Delphinus, visible even by small telescopes. Florence's trip past the Earth offers scientists a chance to study it up close. This asteroid is less than half the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs and poses no apparent threat to life on Earth. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end, and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. NASA wants to explore a metal asteroid worth 10 quintillion US dollars. NASA says it plans to launch the Psyche mission one year earlier than planned. The mission will explore the metal asteroid called 16 Psyche. The 16 Psyche asteroid is located in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This asteroid is primarily made of iron and nickel. The amount of iron in the asteroid is said to be worth around 10 quintillion US dollars. This is a value exponentially higher than the combined GDP of every country on Earth, which totaled about $74 trillion in 2015. The Psyche mission is expected to be launched in the summer of 2022, and it will arrive at the asteroid in 2026. It will perform science operations from four staging orbits, with the closest orbit only 45 to 128 kilometers above the asteroid. The spacecraft's instrument payload includes multi-spectral imagers, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, magnetometers, and an X-band radio telecommunication system. The objective of the mission includes determining whether the asteroid is an exposed core or if it is unmelted material. Researchers also hope to find the relative ages of regions of the asteroid's surface and to characterize its topography. The mission design team developed a trajectory for the mission that eliminates the need for an Earth gravity assist and allows the spacecraft to stay further away from the Sun. This shortens the original timeline by four years. Finally, a skyscraper that is truly out of this world. Imagine a daily commute that involves parachuting down to Earth. An American architectural firm has plans that would allow you to do exactly that, with a skyscraper suspended from an orbiting asteroid. 
New York City-based Cloud's architecture office has previously come up with incredible plans for a Mars house and a Cloud City. Their newest design, introduced in February, is called Analemma Tower. Analemma will be powered by space-based solar panels, with fresh water provided by condensation from clouds and rain. The water would be filtered and recycled in a semi-closed loop system. Suspended from the asteroid by strong cables, the tower would follow a geosynchronous orbit, tracing a figure eight pattern over the northern and southern hemispheres once per day. This eccentric orbit would allow it to move slowest as it passes over New York City. Residents would parachute down to work as the orbit slows. The tower would be divided into a business area at the bottom, residential in the middle, and worship towards the top. At the apex would be a space for burials, while surface transfer points would be at the bottom. Construction would take place in Dubai, which has a proven record in the construction of tall buildings, at one-fifth the cost of New York City.